For the last 26 years, South Park has been doing whatever it likes. And what it likes to do is be slightly dodgy. Have you ever been tickled on the inside? Now, that is fine if you are old enough to watch it. But what about the poor little kids who can't enjoy the genius of South Park? They have to live their lives without Eric Cartman. Actually, that might be a good thing. So, I'm going to make the most family-friendly South Park ever, and at the end of this video, you will see my final vision for a South Park spin-off rated G. First, we need to work out what the other kid shows are doing, so that I can make something that blends in perfectly. So, I guess it's time to watch some, uh, Coco Melon. Yeah, I'm not too excited about it either. After enjoying an hour of brain-dead goodness, I settled on four key elements of children's animated shows. Everyone is friends, they have colourful graphics, an easy to follow story, and a happy ending. Basically, everything that South Park is not. That's enough planning. Planning is boring. It's time to actually start making it, or else the kids will have grown up by the time it is done. I want to use Blender for this to mimic that typical kids show style. Problem is, I've only used Blender a few times. So, we'll see how far I can go without any tutorials, because they look pretty long. Okay, I might need a tutorial. And here are the characters, just like that. It actually took me a whole day to make these, but that is boring, so I'll give you a quick rundown. They are all made out of simple geometry, even the details and the clothes. I wanted everything to feel as tactile as possible, so I didn't use any textures and all the details are actual 3D meshes. Ignore the fact that Kenny isn't here, he was too complicated and I got scared. But luckily, he has a habit of dying, so we can just assume he's chilling in heaven. I still need to make the set, but at this point I got bored and decided to work out how to make the characters say whatever I want. I wrote the script, but I can't show you that because it will ruin the surprise. I obviously can't get the voices from the show, as I don't think I'm going to find a time when they are actually nice to each other. So, I turned to artificial intelligence. There were a few different sites that I used, but they were all kind of trash. Hey Cartman, my best friend! So, I made the crippling purchase of 11 labs for a whole dollar. I am now in crippling debt for the benefit of the kids. All I needed was some footage of them speaking and it created their voices for me. That was my final version of the Cartman AI. And this is an AI I trained to sound like me. Pretty, pretty cool. cool. This is genuinely a really useful tool and could be used for some pretty dangerous things. Now back to the bullshit. I made the base room, then realized I have no talent, so I downloaded this car, rocket, octopus, skateboard, and two teddy bears. Additionally, I made a custom table, bookshelf, and I also made something to see out the window. Look at this, it looks pretty cool. And finally, we can get onto the animation. I always like to do a test before tackling the full thing, just so that I can get a feel for it. So, Hey, subscribe to this channel or else you're lame. And I personally think you should do what the fat little boy says. Oh yeah, the mouths were just assets I downloaded and then added in post. It genuinely took a whole hour to line up the correct mouths for that 3 second shot, and I was doing it at max speed. I will probably get carpal tunnel by the end of this, but hopefully it will be worth it. I actually almost forgot to model the most important part of this whole animation, and that is a Jewish vibe. Huh? I promise all the stuff will come together at the end and make sense, just bear with me. I just stretched out some cubes to make the basic shape, then downloaded this picture of some leather to get a texture for the front, and then added the appropriate words. And I think that is all the modelling I'll need to do for this whole project. Let's speed ahead. This took so long to animate because I don't know how to actually rig characters in Blender, meaning I had to painstakingly move each individual object every few frames. You can see how I set up each camera angle by moving different objects in the foreground to make a more interesting shot. After it was all animated, I checked the lighting. I am so dedicated to making South Park for kids that I even took the care to change the lighting for each individual shot. I also worked out to make them look like they're on shrooms. Then I rendered it, synced up the voices, and finally spent four hours doing all the mouths for the characters. This whole project took four days, so please 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 subscribe for my efforts to save the younger generation. Here is the final result. Hey Kyle! Hey Cartman, my best friend. What is that book? I have been reading about the Jewish faith to properly understand your beliefs so that I can be a better friend. That is so cool, my best friend Cartman. Hey Stan, give me back my Jewish Bible. Okay Cartman, I am so sorry. Here is your Jubal. I love you guys.